Hello. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Larissa Marino vlog field trip. Today we are in Janice's bedroom because it is 8 o'clock at night and dark outside and I still do not have a ceiling light. It's on my to-do list to look up on Craigslist today though, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Also, almost thought about not recording at all because of how busy everything was this weekend and it is already Tuesday, which means I need to record and edit and upload and post all within the next 24 hours. So let's get to it. Friday night, the adventures began without any visitors coming. Janice and I decided that we were going to go check out this Oktoberfest that everybody kept telling us about. And we saw signs for, and it closed down the street that was really close to us. It's really busy, which was crazy that it was closed down to begin with. So I have, from the Oktoberfest adventure, a whole lot of photos of anything German. But the biggest thing Friday night that we discovered, uh, well, there's a few things. Thing number one, all of the beer cups were like bottom filling. So you would set it down and it would fill from the bottom. And I had seen a video of this before but I didn't know how it happened and I had never had a cup like this. So when I was drinking one of the beers, I would felt the bottom and so I was really like, oh, it's one of the bottom fillings. And Janissa, God bless her soul, went, it's what? And poked it and the whole, everything just came out. And we were sitting, so it was like all down her front and like she was squishing on her chair. It was gross. I even got it down my shoe. And I was like, you got it in my shoe. And she's like, I got it down my everything. So the little bottom filling things found out it's kept in place by a magnet, a little cutesy little magnet thing. Hey, great wizard behind the curtain. Can you toss me a magnet from the table of German Fest? ACO magnet. Got it. Got the s'mores. No. It's your room. You're going to have to clean it up. Your video. You get to do it. Stop. This is a rental. <laughs> this is a rental. Uh, so they had little magnets like this, and they had little letters on them, and so like if you collected enough letters that spelled two locations, you could get entered to win a trip to these locations in Germany. And we got everything but vowels, which was great. So, I mean, but this is this is what was in the cup, is they would have like a beer cup, and then this would go on top of the bottom, and then you'd fill up the beer, and I don't know, was, I thought it was cool, once you got used to the idea. <laughs> But another thing of note that we saw, went to the restroom, got out of the restroom, and... Couldn't find Janissa until I looked on the Nashville cat rescue van. Cat butt. Nothing says Germantown like cats. <laughs> we did not get a cat. It was a close call. I'm pretty sure Janice is still sad about that. And then George and Stephen came down. And so I actually had to go and help take a 190 sandwich order on a delivery. Um, but then when I got back, I got to spend time with George and Stephen, who came down here to visit me, which is awesome. They got here Saturday afternoon and left early, 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 early this morning. I think they were out of the house by 6.15 this morning. I knew that Saturday night, obviously I needed to take them to Broadway so they could see all the bars. Um, but we went to what is my favorite bar here in town. I don't ever go to it unless I'm showing people it. But it's called HQ which stands for headquarters and it's got all these like retro video games in it that are free to play and they kind of play they have a ton of pinball there too are you telling me you're coming down just got a text from Keisha. She apparently is doing a road trip from Amarillo, Texas to Norfolk, North Carolina, but is going right through Nashville and is now telling me she's not going to stop. But now she's saying if I'm available when you're there. So, I guess we'll find out. Wishy Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. Uh, and then Anna joined us, Janice and my friend from here. We all went to check out Oktoberfest together and had a blast. Poor Steven was the odd guy out. He seemed to thoroughly enjoy himself as well. And then it's Sunday night, don't work Monday. I've been wanting to show Steven, so we went to the jazz house. Uh, so there was a pretty cool guitar player there. <laughs> something called the spoken word which was basically just rapping over jazz which is pretty cool I put my fist up I'm ready for battle I put my knuckle on this Adam's apple I'll spin it like until I put up in a nigga put a trigger like a bullet in a bullet in a nigga put a name on the bullet in a bullet in a game that's all I really want to be able to say you know famous whoa <laughs> and then we all sang 
I attempted to sing the song that I know it, Is You Is, or Is You Ain't, My Baby. Like, I just know one version of it, but I really like that version. So I sang along to it and kept practicing it. And it's very, I've got a gal who's always late. Anytime we have a date. But I love her. It's just very like smooth like that. I'm like, oh, this will be good for jazz night. So I'm like, I want to do that. And the upright bassist player that was there that night was like, oh yeah, that's a great one. And the piano player, which should have given me the heads up, piano player was like, oh, I don't, I don't know that, but I can find the music. So I've just come to the decision that I'm only ever going to do songs that the piano player knows, because that's who I get my cues from. And if he doesn't know the version I know, it was, it was just a mess. So anyway, here's. It's not playing. I did sing, but Georgia took the video, and I don't know if I'm gonna have access to it in time. If we do, maybe I'll clip it on to the end. I mean, all you need to know is I went to do one song, didn't pan out so well, and then he's like, well, do you know anything else? And I was like, oh, okay, Frank Sinatra, fly me to the moon. Everybody knows Frank Sinatra. And so we did that one, and it was okay.
bad. Uh, and then Steven went up and sang, and he actually did a song that he performed with the jazz ensemble, like in an auditorium. Well, I wanna make love to you tonight. I can't wait for the morning to come. And I know that the time is just right. And straight into your arms I will run. And when I come, my heart will be waiting to make sure that you never He did a great job. And then Georgia went. She did great. Hers was a little bit too low. So it's like if they had just kind of gone in between all of them, we would have been fine. So we did that Sunday night. And then Monday morning, we got up and went to my favorite restaurant, Milk and Honey, for breakfast. And then uh, walked down to the giant pair of wings that's been painted. And we got some freaking cute pictures of George and Steve in there. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? I got some cute pictures of just Georgia too. Uh, and then we went to the Museum of Visual Art that's here in Nashville, which I had never been to, but I like I like art museums. I've only ever gone to like two, I think, in my life. Their big selection was 1900s Paris, which was, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Paris, but it was cool to see. Something that I did not expect to see was the original print of this. Like, my grandma McFeeters has this poster and like loves this kind of style, but they had the original print in the art museum, which was really cool to see. They also had like all these gowns from like the 1900s in Paris. Paris, France, and it was just, it was really cool, all the different stuff they had there. I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. There was this other weird exhibit they had in the art museum that I had never seen before, and I tried to catch it on film because it was really weird just to look at it and try to explain it. So this is a, this is a Korean artist that makes very utilitarian things out of just like see-through fabric and uses LED lights. He makes everything out of fabric. And wires. It seems it, so it makes the outlines of it. It was really weird looking, but kind of cool to see. Then we went across the road to the Union Station Hotel, which used to be a train station. It was actually built in like the 1870s and was a train station for Nashville. I forget 
they listed off like the important people that had used that train station and now I can't remember a single one of them which is probably a good thing that I'm not a tour guide because I wouldn't be able to just regurgitate information but it's, it's very beautiful it has original Tiffany stained glass in the window that you can see there in the picture and it like each one of the rooms in like unique and individual and like they turned the majority of this train station into hotel rooms so we went in and we're kind of just poking around and then Steven saw the poker table he's like well do you guys know how to play poker we're like no he goes well let's sit down let's learn so they got some coffee and I got a cocktail and we sat down at the table and I learned how to play Texans Hold'em did okay Georgia beat all of us uh but then here's a video of just the interior of this hotel It's really hard to just get across how incredibly massive this thing was. So we went there and then came home and went to Fifth and Taylor, which is a pretty fancy restaurant and had some of the most delicious food that I have ever had the privilege of consuming. Um, I don't even like eating meat on the bone, but we got these duck wings that it was like butter and I just, I, I wanted to suck on the bone. It tasted so good. Um, but then I showed him Jenny's ice cream, which is a must. And we also got him some Gigi's cupcakes, which is also a must. And and uh, then we came home and wrapped up the trip with watching Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So we had a great time together and I absolutely love the fact that uh, they came down to visit me. It really meant a lot. So going into this weekend, I'm working since I took Monday off. I don't really know what I have planned next or what's going on. Maybe I'll see Keisha if it happens to line up when she's down here. Maybe I'll get a light. Maybe that's the next big thing. Whatever it is, talk to you guys about it. So have a great week and thanks for spending some time with me today.